Okay, so this here is a through night. It's the TN35. TN35, it's 2750 looms. Uh, the last one I had was more of a pure spot. This one here is a mixture of spot and flood. So, yes, uh, the box did not come with those oil splatters on it. That's from the box sitting and the fingerprints sitting on the workbench. Uh, <laughs> other than that, I have been using this flashlight. We actually just used it today when snowmobiling. It is freaking bright as hell. So, uh, I'll get Adam to actually, Mr. AG Snake Man on YouTube here to do an unbox. Again, we were using it, so it's not the first time out of the box, but this is how it comes packed. So, it comes with some, uh, Spare parts here, lanyard, spare clicker, nice holster, which for a light this big, yeah, it's nice to have a holster. Ooh, or nice. just have big, big, big pockets like these. These work too. <laughs> Comes wrapped nicely. Yeah. Nice and still frosty cold. Oh yeah, she's cold. Yeah, so your mold adjustment here is on a ring that turns. The back button has your uh, on and off. Turn it to a brighter mold. Nice and bright. Of course, the camera's just dimming right now. Yeah. I did just throw in a new set of charge batteries, so... Yeah, I just got back with the sled here. So, there'll be another video of the sled coming back pretty soon. Uh, Adam had... How many white bolts did you do on the sled today? <laughs> At least five. For least sure, five. five. Oh, yeah. I fell five times. Yeah. On my... Oh. This break? Yeah, my breath okay. isn't working. Now let's, trick, breath. now let's trick some people into watching uh, flashlight videos. So here, let's get you to hold the flashlight in your hand right in front of the snowmobile. What are we doing? You're just going to sit on the snowmobile and get your ass wet because we just washed it. There you go. Nice green shot here. <laughs> okay. And uh, for comparisons, uh, let's put it beside the 32. So this is a through night. TN32. So this one here has the little little tiny LED light, but virtually the same light. The only difference is this one here is flat black, which I like better. This one's chrome. This is the one that I did the drop test on the river with it and uh, actually flattened out a couple batteries. I had a few batteries after that that I put into my uh, through night. <laughs> Almost went onto the ground. This one here is the TN36. Uh, this is pure flood. You can't really see those. There you go. This one's all flood. No spot, really. Uh, the TN32 is all uh, for long distance. And this one is a nice mix of between. So you can kind of see the size of that inside there. It's a pretty huge the emitter. Uh, so let's go give this one here a try. Again, freshly charged batteries. And we'll see what happens. Maybe we'll do a little bit of a drop test, should we? <laughs> Well, I might add, uh, when we took this one out here and we did a drop test with this one, I destroyed some batteries and I did get a replacement. So with this light, they sent me some replacement uh, batteries and uh, that's what's in it right now. Because uh, right now, this one here is the one that has the big rip in it, has a dent in it. So this one here will be throwing, getting thrown out pretty quick. Throw it so, into a fire, see what happens. Yeah, maybe we'll do that. <laughs> eh? Or shoot it with the 22. Hey, or the 308. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, no, then we wouldn't even see what happens. It'd Pull just it be right gone. Right Okay, let's pack up and go do a review video. I'm just charging up the batteries on my better camera, so hopefully you guys can actually see how good this light really is because it is freaking amazing. Adam will be using the TH10 headlamp when I go to do this. So if anyone's wondering what kind of headlamp is on him, nice and frosty cold, uh, TH10, and this is a freaking awesome headlamp. Okay, so my battery's showing a little bit low, so this will be a short video. Okay, crank her up, Adam. Okay. There you go, eh? And go one more to strobe, just show the strobe. Oh, that's hard on the eyes. Okay, get <laughs> off that. <laughs> Help us, please, SOS. Don't say that too loud, buddy. Okay, go back to high and shine it down that Try way. Get some trees. Yeah, there you go. Oh, yeah, all the way down there. Yeah. Shine it right down at the bottom there, like up a bit higher. There we go. Oh, yeah, shine here. We'll show them why we're not doing a drop test today. This is ice, hard packed ice right now because we had some warm weather. So we're walking on right now probably a foot of ice at least. So yeah, no drop testing on here because I don't want to ruin this light. The middle fucking break on there. Yeah. I guess you could throw it against the snowbank there if you want. But it might go in like two feet deep. Yeah, and then I gotta stick my hands in there. Yeah, you do. Yeah, cold. Yeah, okay. Let me see it here just so I can... No! My light! <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
Let's see if I can get the focus a bit better here. Yeah, that right there, that's about 150 yards away. Yeah, that's freaking bright. And a nice wide beam. It's a little bit of a yellow tint on this one. That I do notice. So the camera again is just kind of dimming out here. But yeah, this one here has a little bit of a tint. Now shine your headlamp down there, the TH10. Yeah, just like shine it up. Yeah, see that one does really nothing. Then you take this out, it's like, oh. <laughs> This one does good for close though. Oh yeah, for close up. Like uh, I went the other day with the snowmobile with the TH10 and on the snowmobile, that's freaking awesome. Here, shine it right, uh, right there. That's the TH10. And then uh, here's this guy here. This is the uh, number 35 again. So the TN35, freaking amazing. And if just something was in that bush, I would light that up freaking. Yeah, you wouldn't have any problem seeing what's in that bush. Yeah. Well, I'm going to pause the camera and restart it here so I save some battery power. Okay, so we've been out here now for about half an hour, and the light actually already has a noticeably, I wouldn't even say half an hour, maybe 20 minutes, and it's already getting a little bit dim. So it could be that my batteries weren't fully charged, but I'm sure that I grabbed the charged set when I put them on the charger. These are the brand new ones. But yeah, it's noticeable, noticeably a little bit dimmer now, so but you can still see pretty much anything here. So when we first turned it on for the first uh, five minutes, I'm sure of it, it was a lot brighter. So after about half an hour, expect uh, the lumens to go down a bit. Let's see, Adam, is it bright? Ah, ah you blinded me just as much. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, should we do some drop testing, Adam? I don't know. Do you want to dig it out of the snowbank? Not really. Okay, we'll save that for another video. And to be honest, I don't really want to wreck this one. Uh, so this is going to be just a short video for now. They have sent me this, I guess it's almost two weeks ago, maybe three weeks. Yeah, I thought it was pretty sweet. So, but we do plan to do more videos on it. Uh, I don't want to slide on my ass here. I swear we heard cracking when we went back here earlier. The cracks. Yeah. Yeah, there's quite a few cracks in here. Hey, let's see. <laughs> That's, That's kind of cool. Yeah. Just watch a bunch of fish heads start uh, freaking bumping it. By. Big turtle. <laughs> they actually love that shit. You shine a light in the hole. Yeah. Look at all the air bubbles in there, hey? <laughs> yeah, I think I'm pretty sure if I drop. Whoa, that's a noticeably. Whew, that's a good downhill right there where that crack <laughs> is high. And then, whew. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was plus two for the last little bit, so a lot of this melted. Now, this might just be a fresh layer of ice. And there might be, uh, who knows, oh, did the light, oh no, that was you, I was going to say, did it just get bright again? <laughs> yeah, but this might be just a layer of ice on top of the other ice, yeah. so, just from the water gushing up. Well, these, so. this creek's only three or five feet deep, it's probably almost frozen to the bottom down here. You think so? Oh, the Red River has two and a half feet ice, almost three feet ice, man. Oh yeah, then this is going to be way deeper. Oh, yeah. this, look, somebody... this is probably three and a half, four feet ice. Yeah. I'll bet you'd be lucky in some spots to find water underneath the ice. Yeah. So a couple snowmobile trails here. We're tempted to go do uh, some river riding with the sled today, but we have a donut on here right now. Oh, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'd be awesome. Well, I guess this is going to be it for the review video for now. Again, I do plan to do more. Just right now, kind of running out of time. Lots of tracks here. Lots of tracks. Back there, I should have videotaped uh, back at the corner. There is a ro uh, trail going up, and it was packed almost right down with deer tracks. We've also been quadding, or, uh, sledding since, what, noon? Oh, yeah. And it's eight? Yeah. Yeah, we've been on the sled all day, so... So, yeah. Yeah, I got some rubber, rubber, rubber legs, so... <laughs> well, Adam's going to go climb up here and see if he can see some rabbits in the hole. Okay, I'm going to pay you 50 bucks to climb in there. Give me 50 bucks to pay you first. <laughs> Look at those bolts sticking all day. Eh? Is that blood? Yep. Look at all that blood, eh? Holy! That is blood. Goes up. Hey! You know, Woo! you know why? Cause something ran through there and probably here shine it in there and like hold it still. I bet you something got caught on those bolts right there. Yeah. Yeah, but it goes all the way uphill to the front street. Yeah, but that's fresh blood from something. Yeah. Well, something ran in there and died. I don't see no dead hookers in there, so I don't think we have to worry about that. I was hoping to crack open a cold one. <laughs> oh, buddy. 
<laughs> that'd be worse than cold, buddy. That'd be frosted over. <laughs> okay, that's the end of this. <laughs> well, we've been here for a few seconds just waiting for those cars to move. Okay, just give them a flash of light. Let's see if we can light up way down there. Oh, yeah. Shut it off. Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. way down there. Yeah. Okay. You're making them already come to a stop, so. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty bright. So what do you think the, of the light on them? I think it's all right. It's, it's decent. Yeah, it's decent, but I think the TN32 is way brighter, yeah. and that has half the lumens. Yeah. That's weird. This one here, it just with the yellow tint, it just doesn't seem to be lighting up stuff quite as far. Yeah. My my screen is just fogged it's right fog. up. Yeah. yeah. But got my truck in here just de-thawing because I gave it a quick wash. Same with the sled here, so. Yeah, so chances are if you guys are watching this and you want to see the sled video, it'll be posted a day or so after this. Oh yeah, my lens is fogged right over. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's probably better. Now you guys can probably see maybe a little bit more. But yeah, about to go drop this shithead off and then uh, yeah. <laughs> I'll start editing up some videos. <laughs>